the world first learned of uh, Jehad, George Hotz, in August 2007, maybe before then, but certainly in August 2007, when you were the first person to uh, unlock, carry unlock an iPhone. Mm -hmm. How did you get into hacking? What was the first system you discovered vulnerabilities for and broke into? So that was really kind of the first thing. I had really? a I had a book in in 2006 called Gray Hat Hacking. And I guess I realized that if you acquired these sort of powers you could control the world. Mm -hmm. But I didn't really know that much about computers back then. I started with electronics. The first iPhone hack was physical. Hardware. Yeah. Um you had to open it up and pull an address line high. And it was because I didn't really know about software exploitation. I learned that all in the next few years and I got very good at it. But back then I knew about like how memory chips are connected to processors and stuff. Well, you knew about software and programming. You just didn't, no. didn't know. No, oh, really? really? So your, <laughs> your view of the world and computers was uh, physical, was, yeah. com was hardware. Actually, if you read the code that I released with that mm -hmm. in August, 2007, it's atrocious. What language was it? In? C. See, nice. And in a broken sort of state machine esque C, I, I didn't know how to program. Yeah. So how did you learn to program? What was your journey? Because I mean, we'll talk about it. You've uh, live streamed some of your programming. Yeah. This uh, chaotic, beautiful mess. How did you arrive at that? Years and years of practice. I interned at Google uh, after the summer after the iPhone unlock. Hmm. And I did a contract for them where I built the hardware for, for Street View. And I wrote a software library to interact with it. Mm -hmm. And it was terrible code. And for the first time, I got feedback from people who I respected saying, no, like, don't write code like this. <laughs> um, now, of course, just getting that feedback is not enough. Mm -hmm. The way that I really got good was I wanted to write this thing like that could uh, emulate and then uh, visualize like uh, arm binaries because I wanted to hack the iPhone better. And I didn't mm -hmm. like that I couldn't like see what the, I couldn't single step through the processor because I had no debugger on there, especially for the low level things like the boot ROM and the bootloader. So I tried to build this tool to do it. And I built the tool once and it was terrible. I built the tool a second time, so it was terrible. I built the tool a third time. This was by the time I was at Facebook, it was kind of okay. And then I built the tool a fourth time when I was a Google intern again in 2014. And that was the first time I was like, this is finally usable.